Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dolly's and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. In the last episode, we upgraded our jetpack to a reinforced jetpack, which I'm going to go ahead and armor up and equip and all that fun stuff. I charged it between episodes. Uh, we also made a Illuminati crossbow, uh, which is also Lumium, with some Enderium bolts. Uh, this should do 111 hearts of damage. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of powerful. Um, but yeah, we were working last episode trying, uh, we also got the QED up and running. Uh, that was the other thing we did to get, um, the times eight generators. Uh, we have a culinary one over here, which, uh, I've been using to kind of get more, uh, power. I threw some food in. Uh, food is something that I'm not really doing too well on. Uh, we got some maple, I got a maple sapling from, uh, Sifting Topiary Grass. Uh, still haven't completed that quest though, so I will keep working at it. We have over a stack of dirt. I'll do that every once in a while off camera. Uh, honestly, one of the things I might do here soon is make another, uh, uh, automatic sieve and go ahead and get a bunch of, uh, fortune upgrades and see if that helps with basically anything that's not the dust, gravel, or sand that I'm kind of constantly uh, sifting. So we have a lot of stuff. Um, we have 139 blocks of iron dust. Um, so that's a lot of iron. And I think something that we're going to do relatively soon is... Oh yeah, I forgot to clean this out. Whoops. Oh well. Um, that's not important. Um, but what we're going to do relatively soon is we're going to put a uh, hopper on here and basically have a lever to turn on and off a, uh, we'll probably use a fluid duct, uh, just to cast blocks and um, probably put that into an output chest uh, just to kind of make this a little bit automated. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, um, one thing I need to do and this is something I'm kind of going to rush on, is, well, we don't have lava. Uh, we don't have enough lava coming in. The lava generator is not producing all that much. Uh, I do believe it is producing enough to keep up with our demands up here, um, at least during the day. Uh, this is kind of staying constant. Granted, it's got a solar panel too with it. Um, but it seems to be working for the most part. But it's time we kind of um, made some more crucibles and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, this is now out of power. Let's give it a piece of toast. Um, these solar panels are just not quite cutting it. Power is going to be one of the next things we're going to look at to, just to upgrade even more. Um, but this will give us one more dust here in a second. And we're going to make some more crucibles and extend the platform a little bit and all that fun stuff. Uh, this solar panel over here seems to be keeping up with the demands of power, uh, even though it gets blocked every once in a while. Uh, so it will drop below the max capacity when trees grow above it. So there is a slight problem with that, but uh, we'll live. So... Let's see, how much do we have now? 36, uh, let's see, 28. So that's enough. That's enough for right now. That's going to give us five more crucibles. Uh, so we're going to need uh, the bone meal, uh, 35 bone meal. We're also going to need uh, netherrack, which is whatever, but we're going to need, uh, I have to craft it first, uh, we're going to need more transfer pipes, which shouldn't be a problem. I believe transfer pipes are just redstone, stone, and, yeah, glass. So, um, just a piece of redstone, uh, two pieces of glass. And we need some stone. I do believe I have some stone over here, so uh, let's grab this. Uh, yes. So one set should be more than enough. Uh, hopefully, anyways. 
So uh, today we are going to go take on Butter, uh, Flutter Butter, Butter Flutter, the Terrible, whatever the boss is, the Butterfly in the Nether that is just completely and utterly terrible. Uh, we're going to go take them on and hope for the best. Alright, so... Uh, we're also going to need a couple more things that I kind of forgot about. So... Yeah, let's go grab... Uh, we're going to need fluid ducts and servos. Uh, most of that shouldn't be too bad. Do I have any? I have some hardened fluid ducts. I already have some transfer pipes. Let's take all of these. Um, I'm going to need two more sets of servos. So that's some Envar. Uh, which I do have in here. Uh, let's see. Four iron nuggets. Two more glass. And two more redstone. Uh, so this should be pretty easy. Let's get the crucibles. I have the flint and steel on me. Uh, and the only other thing that I'm going to need is uh, some netherrack. So easy enough. So five more netherrack. And we'll go ahead and make some more um, lava generation. Uh, you know what, let's go grab our, uh, one, let's hit F7, make sure that we can see where the darkness is. Let's grab our, it's in here, um, our builder's one. And yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So, um, we do something like this for just a little bit. and put some torches down all right so five more so one two three four five i'll make this an even eight on each side later um but let's just do something like this and Uh, eventually I will have some nice um, automation with the lava, but for now, uh, this is going to be kind of all we're going to be able to do, uh, just crucibles. I think later we can do a couple of the things that will make it a little bit nicer to do uh, lava, but I'm not sure. We'll have to we'll figure that out when we get there. Uh, so let's put some cobblestone walls up. Uh, just make it a little bit safer. And last thing is these. So here soon. Well, actually, they're already getting. Um, they should all be getting cobblestone relatively soon. Um, speed upgrades would be beneficial on that actually so let me go see I can't remember do we have any more speed upgrades did I use them all last time or do we still have some we still have some so basically we'll go on the other side and we'll use them so we come down here we just go here and we do speed upgrades it'll search a little bit faster uh, which is going to keep all the stuff filled up a little bit quicker. Um, so is that helping at all? Um, yes. It's going almost instantly back to power. Um, but it's not retaining much lava yet. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on it. Honestly, if I can at least get... Um, if I get a few more, I need what, like, one, two, three, three more. Three more crucibles for right now would be probably good enough. Uh, we'll see if that's, that is good enough, but uh, it should be close anyways. Um, and we'll get that going here in the near, near future. So let's get some cobblestone. We might need this. Um, 
and I think it's time. Uh, so one of the quests that we have in Mob Hunter is to go kill the terrible. Well, let's go to the nether and go kill it. Um, this shouldn't be too bad. I know it has a lot of health, but we have a really good crossbow now. And at the very least, we can go try. As long as we stay away and don't get hit by our own arrows, we shouldn't have too much of a problem. Uh, other than a little bit of lag. So, I have to remember... Um... There's a hole... It's not this way, is it? This is to Soren. Alright, so... Is it this way? That's weird. What's up here? Oh, it just looks like a uh, way that I went. So, it's not this way, it's the other way. Uh, and I don't want to use all my jetpack fuel quite yet. Because um, we'll use that just to stay away from Butterflutter. Oh my god. <laughs> um, just because if we stay away from them, then we don't have to worry about getting hit. And if we don't worry about getting hit, then, well... Uh, our life will be a lot easier. So, just to kind of demonstrate, um, yeah, there's a lot of mushrooms here. There's a bat and it's dead. Alright, um, alright, so, Butterflutter is this way, I do believe. Or whatever the, the boss is called. Uh, so it's this way. And hopefully we don't die. That's pretty much the only thing I'm worried about. Uh, alternatively, by the way, we could come to the, the nether to mine or to uh, pump lava out. So the butterfly should be right over here. Right there. Hit it once. Um, I can't see it. Wow. Um, okay, so it's not rendering in for me. Um, all right, let's, uh, Getting a nice... Yeah, it's not rendering in for me for whatever reason. But, hey, the... Uh, the crossbow itself has a repair now, which is really cool. So, yeah, we're gonna just stand here and shoot this thing for a while. And... The Endearium Bolts just got more attack, so now we're doing, well, a little bit more attack. Also got another modifier. Reinforced. Okay, this is a really good way um, to level up your crossbow. Alright, so, Butterflutter the Terrible is dead. Um, or not? Um, it's 25 meters away is what it says. Five meters, so... Yeah, it's supposed to be right here. And I killed it, but... Oh, I just had to go there. Okay, cool. So now we have to kill blazes, we have to kill zombie pigmen, magma cubes, and three gas. Well, there's a gas right there. That was not too bad. 
Um, as you can see, there's a lot of lava. Let's see if we can't get a gas here, by the way. Uh, looks like it died right here. Cool. Um, Pink Scar Spider. I think we got most of the stuff about spiders. Yeah, we've completed the spider quest, so let's kill these zombie pigmen, and I don't know what that's about. But is that enough for the zombie pigmen? Yes. Uh, let's use our sword a little bit too, because I want to level this up. And there we go. Alright, so zombie pigman, we got a head. Uh, that's kind of cool. Got a couple of those. Sulfur, gold. Yeah, cool. Um, so... We need to kill blazes, magma cubes, gas, uh, two more gas, and some imps. Uh, so... For the most part, it's just going to be kind of wandering around the nether and looking for stuff. But let's see if we can't find either a fortress or just something. Um, but yeah, other than that, most of this stuff is going to be pretty easy. We'll have to go to the end at some point, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, I'll probably wait till we get a little bit better flight. We have decent flight now, and that looks... I can't tell, actually. Uh, I think there's a fortress over here. Yep, there's a fortress. So we'll just come over here to the fortress, and for the most part, I'm going to run. Uh, but yeah, we'll come over to the fortress. There should be blazes. There should be wither skeletons. All the good stuff. Uh, there might be. There might even be magma cubes. Who knows? Uh, that's probably going to be the, one of the hardest ones to find. Uh, I don't know exactly how they spawn, uh, to be perfectly honest, but we'll figure it out. So let's explore this nether fortress and see what it might have. Um, let's use our crossbow if we can. It has nothing. Alright, um... So I guess let's come down in this direction. We have some ash clouds. There's fire. There's an explosion here it looks like. Interesting. Um, don't know why, but there was. All right. Um, hmm. That's really weird. Uh, let's just keep going this direction and see... Okay, there's a blaze spawn right there. Uh, let's also... Journey maps... Waypoint... New... Um, fortress. And I'm going to turn that off because I don't really care to see it right now. Alright, I hear the little piggies. There we go. Um, so we need to kill how many of them? Ten. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, nine, and ten. Cool. Easy enough. Uh, let's make sure that, yep, it has all killed and now let's go kill some blazes I could use some blaze rock so that's is actually kind of a nice thing um, let's try not to die but my my inventory is full huh all right, let's get rid of nether brick. All right, so 
Have I killed all that I needed? No, I need to kill four more. I think I can handle this, so let's just wait. Let's kill the blazes, uh, and then we will start heading back home. So there's two. Um, one thing that I'm gonna want to do is put repair on our uh, bolts so that they replenish. Um, other than that, our crossbow is really, really good. Uh, so I'm not too worried about like modifying it or anything like that. So yeah, uh, come on, blazes. Come on. Spin the little, there we go. And it only spawned one. I literally need one more. All right, come on. Uh, do we have looting on this? We do. Let's use our broadsword. Um, cool. So I'll leave that there. Um, you know, I don't need the tainted soil. All right, so pretty much the only thing left in the nether we need to find other than gas is the magma cubes. Those are a pain. We'll have to kill three, though. I wonder if that counts... Like, is that three full-size ones to um, dead? Like, do we have to kill one completely? Or is that, like, any size... Anything like that. Because uh, if it's any size, all we have to do is find a big one and we can kill them. Because uh, they'll split up into other ones, uh, to smaller magma cubes. But let's start heading back towards our base and uh, hopefully we'll see some gas. Probably won't, to be honest. We might, though. If we do, we'll kill them. Uh, otherwise... Yeah, we'll just go back home and do some other stuff. Um, I hate those spiders. They're so large. It's kind of creepy. Anyways, uh, we need to go back this way. Uh, this is where that uh, gas fireball was, wasn't it? Alright, let's... We can fly for most of it. But the portal's this way. Um, is this the... No? Okay. I was wondering if that was the uh, heat sand area. Alright, so there is a gas. Uh, can we see it on the map? No. Sounds like there's two, actually. Spiders, bunch of bats. I hate those bats. Alright, let's pop down here. Let's wait for the bats to come towards us. Uh, yeah, I hate those guys so much. I don't see any of the gas. Um, hmm. I heard them just a moment ago, but now I don't see them, so... Oh well, we'll find gas later. Uh, gas are common enough that we shouldn't have too much of a problem uh, finding and killing them, but our portal, portal is right down here. And yeah, we'll also have to figure out magma dreams. That's, that's gonna be fun, but it shouldn't be too bad. But let's go back uh, and see what we can get into. I don't actually know what we're going to do today. Um, did we get the... Okay, we did get the gluttony shard. Alright, so... Um, let's empty out our inventory. We can get rid of the shards. And... Yeah, a lot of this stuff I don't really care about. Uh, imp leather, that kind of stuff can go in there. Uh, I didn't pick up any ores. Another wreck we're doing there. Uh, so yeah, let's just kind of empty out whatever we can in here. Skulls. Most of the stuff will go into uh, the mom chest over here. And we'll kind of go from there. So let's pop down here for a second and just take a look. 
how is this doing with lava? Still struggling. Um, that is not good. So we need to speed this up even more. And I think the best way to do that is going to be more crucibles. Um, which isn't that big of a deal, but it's kind of annoying. I'll probably do that off camera, actually, though. Uh, just because we got enough stuff to do. So there's blade rods. Um, gas here. Zombie heads. Zombie brains, rather. Um, but we are going to be getting milk bucket, some bones, and another blaze rod. Cool. So let's put that stuff in there. Uh, also, we have spider webs. Yeah, there's so many things in there. I need to. We we have a lot of things to do. Really, the first the first thing that's on the list of like progress that we need to make is definitely power. Um, passive power would be nice, um, but obviously I'll take whatever we can get. So let's open the reward bag. We got two glowstone. Okay. I guess that's okay. And the milk bucket we will put, I don't know, over here. I guess it can go in here. Alright, so let's uh, rearrange our inventory a little bit. Um, and take a look at the quest book and see what we can do. So, yeah, I really don't have much planned beyond what we just did, so we'll figure stuff out. Um, I guess one of the big things we could look towards, um, there's a lot of agricraft stuff we can do. Um, for the hoarding, there's plenty of stuff there. Um, bees... I'm not quite ready to do that yet. I'd like to get some more automation with um, farming before we do much with bees. Uh, so, storage wars, power grid. Power grid's gonna be kind of the big thing that I wanna deal with, but we're not ready to make a reactor. Um, mob spawning would be kind of nice. Hmm. Automated Lumberjack. Yeah, most of the stuff we don't really care about right now. Um, yeah, so let's let's try to upgrade our power just a little bit and see if we can't get some more lava production. Uh, let me see what this says about lava. Uh, any good ways to get lava? So buckets of lava, we can do magma crucibles. That requires a lot of power, though. Um, not too much with a blaze rod. 20,000 RF, but it gives you a quarter bucket. Um, these produce... Um, not enough, really, to make that worth it. Uh, so... What else can we do? Squeezers. We could use squeezers with phosphor. Um, that gives you a decent amount of lava with sand. Um, lava fabricators, that is another thing, but that's, again, not really that good. Uh, so I guess what we're going to have to focus on is the crucibles. So we're going to want more crucibles. Now, something we could do, uh, this would be bad because we're using cobblestone. Uh, so we need three more crucibles. That is 21. Five. Five more. Uh, I have one still over there, so let's let's go ahead and get some more crucibles going. Um, now we could use blazing cryothium. Uh, that is an option. Uh, blazing pyrothium. Sorry, not cryothium. Blazing pyrothium. Um... We can make this pretty easily. Uh, we get a bucket of it uh, with four of the pyrothium dust, and each block of that is going to make this uh, times five, I do believe. Uh, so that is that is potential to get more lava, uh, or we set up a bunch of crucibles. Um, Honestly, I don't know what's going to be the best way. 
because uh, here's here's the issue with um, Blazing Pyrothium. It does not interact well with stone. Um, I don't remember if it burns through stone or if it just kind of eats it. Or like if it if it just changes it to uh, smooth stone, which it might do. Um, but we'll just make some more uh, crucibles for now, and we'll stick with the nether rack. Uh, I'll see if there's any other uh, methods of getting uh, like faster uh, crucibles, but I don't know. You look at the usage of that. We can't recipes. Okay, so three more crucibles. We're gonna need some more transfer pipes. Um, we're gonna need one more hardened flux duct. Flux duct. No, uh, fluid duct. Uh, two sets of uh, servos, which means two pieces of glass and two redstone. So yeah, the the biggest thing with all of this is just trying to get all of the uh, all of the stuff together and going fast enough to keep up. Um, power is going to be an issue for a while uh, until we get a reactor, and even then, uh, Eulorium is a pain to get. Um, I think Eulorium typically is, unless we start mining the void. Eulorium dust is well from heat sand. It's not bad. It's a three percent drop. From sand, it's a one percent drop. So yeah, Eulorium is kind of nasty to get. Otherwise, laser drills are a good way to get that, but. Uh, let's just come out here and we'll do something like this. More crucibles. Another hardened fluid duct. Two more servos. Uh, let's get the transfer pipes so that these guys can start filling up. And now we just need the nether rack and flint and steel. So hopefully this will help. Uh, I don't know if it honestly is. Um, I can hope, but we'll see. Uh, so let's grab some nether rack and we might have to look into some more power options. Um, one that I typically go for is solar. My leg itches, so sorry about that. Um, one that I typically go for is solar. Uh, I do like solar panels. Uh, some of the higher tier solar panels are really good. Uh, I mean, the solar panel sixes generate 4,000 RF per tick, um, but they are fairly expensive. Uh, right now, trying to get solar panel threes would be good. Um, so that might be something we work towards. Um, but for right now, getting more power is definitely kind of the sticking point for all this. Uh, I would like to see this getting enough lava that it's filling up. Or that it needs to generate excess RF. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's going to be the best way go about this but this is almost constantly being used so that's that's good I guess um, I'll have to figure out a way to get more more lava uh, more power because um, I would love to get more lava generators but if we're gonna have the problem of not being able to produce enough lava then what's the point so i think i'm going to go ahead and call the episode here we didn't get all that much done we did a bunch of mob hunter stuff um all these quests uh, we need to kill a bunch of slimes i need to see if there's an easy way to get magma cubes um actually is there like um there's no like spawn eggs or anything like that, so um, 
slime stuff, yeah. Not really sure if there's a good way to get um, magma cubes to spawn or not. Uh, I'll look into that as well. But the big thing is, um, best way to go about lava production, uh, if I just need to like triple this <laughs> or something insane like that, uh, is there better fluid ducts? That is something I'm actually curious. Hardened fluid ducts, flux plated. Um, transfer rate varies by fluid. Um, okay, so there's just the super laminar, laminar uh, fluid ducts, which those are kind of annoying. But we could do that. Um, because these are uh, flux plated. Anything flux plated is both um, so opaque. Okay, so we could make those. That's not that expensive. Um, but I don't know if it'd be worth it. So just kind of to understand, anything that's flux plated, uh, you have flux plated fluid ducts. Um, and I believe there's item ducts that are like that as well. Item duck, uh, not duck, uh, fluctuating item ducks. Uh, these uh, also transfer RF. So that's kind of what those are all about. But yeah, let's see. This is, for the most part, keeping up with power. Maybe it is increasing actually. So eventually, eventually, uh, it will start filling up all of these and. Presumably, once it fills this up, uh, it will start um, generating excess lava, maybe? But that's going to be a while. So I'll look into how to increase that and we'll kind of decide, I'll kind of decide where to go next, where I want to go next, and we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!